Hi, welcome to another tutorial on shebang modules for VCV Rack. Today we're going to be talking about Collider and this guy right here. And what it is is a uh, it's a physical model of uh, a shaker system or any type of shaker instrument like like uh, maracas, uh, kibasa, you know, wind chimes, bamboo wind chimes, whatever. Um, any type of uh, similar particle system that happens in um, uh, an instrument, this this module mo models that. Now it doesn't actually like make sound, but it's um, it models the the physical properties of like some sort of granular uh, system like like I said maracas or chimes or whatever um, so let's get started and and I'm using this audible instruments uh, resonator um, and you can play around with the settings but you can produce some really cool uh, like I'm trying to go for like a bamboo sound here so anyway um, so we have a pitch center and I'm going to connect the gate here. So when we shake it, we can hear just just by clicking it once, it, it gives energy into the system here. Uh, and if I add more particles, you can hear the... <laughs> you can tell they're, they're colliding more often. Um, now the the volts per octave is is just a center pitch, so you can hear there's there's a, a certain amount of spread here. If I if I turn that down, it's just the same pitch. And you also have um, a certain amount of randomness, which will be uh, how much random uh, frequency happens each time there's a collision. So it kind of gives you the uh, Perception that there is actually more particles here than than actually are. So you can, and of course, the further up you, the higher up you go, you get more spread randomly, as well as if you increase this. But it's not changing each time. But anyway. Um, now a more interesting, um, or more natural effect would be to use the velocity output. And we're going to put that into the, uh, to control the, uh, the amount of volume here. So, so you can hear it actually decays. So if we, So we can use that to create a more um, natural sounding instrument. Now I'm going to hook up my MIDI controller here, and uh, the gate goes to, the, sh to uh, the shake, and velocity goes here. So now, now I can control the uh, velocity, the starting velocity, which is really in this case like the amount of energy is, that's put into the system, the uh, physical system of shaking it. So if I don't do very much. To start off with, it's very soft. Um, and then also, um, on my keyboard, I can control the, the center pitch. Um, can... Now, another cool thing to do is I'll use the mod wheel to control the amount of spread. So that's something to play with. Uh, another thing is I'm going to use the mod wheel to control the amount of particles, which will work kind of the same way. So you can kind of control the, um, the density of the system. Or let's combine the mod wheel, 
the amount of spread with randomness here. And you can get creative with like the different types of effects here. Like if you're actually going for like, you know, uh, I don't know, this is sort of like rocks. Almost. So while it doesn't actually produce any sounds, you have a lot of creative control over uh, the type of, of simulation that you might want to do. And by the way, um, this button is not like a one trigger. If you if you hold it down, it'll continue continue to, to shake. Um, okay, that's that's about it for the collider. Enjoy.